such great value for money. And Joe's here this month, who's the new WBO interim champion. And the <laughs> Challenger now to the fight that takes place when we're back here again in Riyadh on the 18th of May for the biggest fight of this 21st century. Four belts on the line. Aman, Tyson Fury against Usyk. That is a brilliant fight. Four belts on the line. And after that fight, there'll be a winner, obviously. And all these guys who fought tonight, all these heavyweights, they're all going to be jostling to get into a position to challenge the winners. So it's fantastic for the heavyweight division that's been so active. And it's really good in as much that how it keeps changing, how, it, how, how things keep turning around. Mm -hmm. think that certain fighters have finished because they've had the defeat. Um, Joe's turned everything around, is it now? Five on the swing? Yep. Five on the spin, really fantastic wins and a fantastic win tonight. AJ tonight, brilliant, brilliant win. I mean, very emphatic, done in fabulous style, having come off a great win against Wally. So it's all looking really good for the future of all these guys to fight the winner, as I said, the fight on the 18th. But tonight, as far as we're concerned, right this moment, it's about Joe, his manager David Higgins here, his advisors here as well, Spencer, and his. You know, between all of them, they've done a great job, and obviously Zang was with us. Um, there is a pretty match pool, but we'll see what happens down the road with that. But we've got a, we've got a new champion, and uh, yes. I'm sure... <laughs> in my opinion, I'm quite sure you'd much rather hear from him than hear any more of my rabbit in you go, okay? Thank you, Uncle Frank. <laughs> um, I just want to say thanks to uh, Excellency Jake Alshaki, thanks to Frank and Spencer for giving the opportunity to, to fight on this, uh, to fight, to keep fighting back here in Saudi Arabia. It's amazing to come back and continue winning with the top challenge tonight. I caught a few shots, but I was able to uh, keep calm and keep cool, uh, keep focused on the plan of just the boxing move and be smart. But Jane is a hell of a fight with a big punch and a big bang. He did bang me a few times. <laughs> the left hand was able to recover, regroup, come back. So, um, I'm very happy, looking forward to flying home and spending some time with the family, see my wife and kids, and um, just relax for a bit and then see what's next. If there are any questions. Uh, great win, by the way. Congratulations on uh, getting that title. The first shot that put you down, did your nose go? My nose, uh, there's a little scratch, a little cut and a little scratch, and it was uh, a little worried when I, I, I felt the bleed, you know? Um, the Jang was a sharp shooter, and uh, I had to recover very quickly. And I'm, I'm very lucky and very fortunate, very blessed. I'm in great shape, um, very, very hard, so I was able to recover a lot quicker than a lot of fighters. Other, other fighters in the same position. Now you talk about recovery. It's easy for me to say it didn't look like a heavy shot, but it seemed like every time he caught you clean, that it was hurting you. Is that true? Yeah, it hurt. It, it's hurt. It hurts when you punch in the face. Very <laughs> <laughs> big bang. My big bang, yeah. <laughs> big bang came to punch, and that's a good shot, and it hurt. And what I did said you do? Uh, you know, I think just in those moments, you have to really focus on trying your best to, to keep to the game plan and to box and be smart. Yeah. Yeah. As, you, as you talk sports here, Joseph, when you get knocked down so early in the fight, can you talk us through what it's like, you know, regrouping yourself, you know, not letting it, you know, the fight fall behind you? One thing when you when you get knocked down, you're like, damn, I wanna be I wanna be in this promo but <laughs> <laughs> they think they do when they knock you down. Yeah. And they keep showing you get knocked down. And you get up again. You get up, up like you think about that. You know, keep showing that when Jane fights. Is that what you thought in the fight? Yeah, I thought, damn, I'm going to be in the clip. <laughs> then I thought to myself, just, um, it's just a, a little, it's just a knockout. And, and you don't prepare for it, but that's what you have to show true heart. And I, sp I spoke to you the week and you told me that the fact that he beat Joe, uh, Joe Joyce and you hadn't didn't matter because this is a new Joseph Parker. 
What is the most important thing that separates the new Jersey Park from the old Jersey Park? Uh, what separates the old one from the new one would be uh, the team that I have. Like again, thanks to Frank Spencer and David for giving me on these cards. But ultimately, uh, Andy Lee and George Lockhart and the tremendous job that they've done with me in training camp. And all of that, again, thanks to Tyson for introducing me to Andy Lee and to George Lockhart as a uh, nutritionist. Joe, what feedback did Andy give you on your performance tonight? Andy has rushed off to fly home, so I'm going to see his family. Um, but he, the feedback was, it was a very smart um, fight. And I had to be smart, because uh, there was a man in front of me. I had to keep composed, I had to keep composed and keep calm. Were you confident you were going to get the, the decision? <laughs> um, he told me that I, I did enough to win, but you never know, in boxing, things uh, you might think you want, but you never know, so just leave it to the judges and the announcer to, to do their job. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, John, I have a question. Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations about your winning. Uh, you stick with your award about winning. Uh, that's great, by the way. What do you think about your performance and the other five performances? I thought of my performance uh, to overcome being knocked down twice uh, was uh, Courageous performance, and Mo Jang, he was a tough, tough man, yes. and he came to, obviously to win and to, to, to bang me and to knock me down. But I was able to overcome all that, and um, I'm looking forward to what's next. What's next, Spencer? So oh, it's the rematch, uh, and if we don't do the rematch, there's there's three or four the, fights there. And the 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 yeah. There's a there's the rematch. Was not really up to these guys. Yeah. We'll work it out. And I'll be able to see what the dust sets while we're yeah. You can uh, enjoy your big tree and enjoy being with your family back home. Wow, so I can't wait to be around New Zealand. Beautiful place and just to relax and uh, yeah. do some fishing. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go fish and eat some raw fish. Congratulations. So, one more question. You want to away. One more question, guys. Thank you. Joe, um, AJ and Ben are rightly being held into this new exciting partnership, but to take on Wilder and compete out boxing and trust Andy's game plan. And I saw you, when you, both times you looked over to Andy, stay calm, stay, you know, breathe. Do you think you two are uh, probably the most dangerous partnership in the heavyweight division? I feel like our partnership is blossoming well. Uh, and it's not just Andy and myself, it's three grand team. Me, myself, Andy, and George Walker we work very well together. Uh, given the opportunity, we can show what we're made of, what I'm made of, yeah. Do you have any thoughts on AJ's performance tonight? Sensational. Sensational. <laughs> it was a good performance. Just very good performance. Brilliant. Very Brilliant performance. Brilliant. Like, you can't pass it in. And that's it. Yeah. You can't pass it in. You can't pass it in. It was very good. Congratulations, Kevin. So, thank you. I'm just before you come to just one more so, Sorry, small question. Um, it's actually for iBoxing. Um, so, it looked like Jack was getting quite tired of towards the end of, of the... Um, fight. Was that part of the game plan to try and get him going as, as far as possible and tire him out? Jane does tire um, in the whole fights, but we weren't thinking about him getting tired. I could have went 20 rounds, but I had to be very smart in there. I pick my shots and pick my moments, and, and that's what we've done. So, Jane's a hell of a fight. I respect to him. I fought him as an amateur. He beat me in the amateurs, and now I beat him in the pros, so it's smart. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.